Welcome back to Girl Boss Chat with Wendy where each month I will have a special guest here on my YouTube channel and I'll ask her all about her journey in becoming a badass girl boss. So my guest today is Beverly Matujal. Hello! She is a singer-songwriter and you can do the rest of your introduction. Can, can, no problem. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Beverly Matujal. I'm a singer-songwriter from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah, basically that's it. I'm 26 this year. Oh, you're 26 as well? Yeah, I'm 26. Oh, me too! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so yeah, I'm 26. I've mm. been doing music for three years. And basically that's it. What's your... What's your story then? Because I know mm-hmm. you officially have done music for three years, uh-huh. but correct. you've started writing music since you're eleven. Yes, correct. Right? Yeah. Ha, tell me, tell me your okay. story. So I remember my first song that I've ever written in my whole life. Right? Mm-hmm. Was when I was eleven. Uh, back then, I didn't know how to use, uh, how to play the piano or the guitar. Uh. So my first song was about this boy. Of course. <laughs> In tuition class, <laughs> <laughs> and I really liked him. He was cute, but he didn't like me back. You know? uh. Typical Taylor Swift stuff. Oh yeah, that's like a Taylor yeah. Swift moment. Yeah. But okay, the crush eventually faded away. Mm-hmm. But I found that I fell in love with songwriting in general, yeah. and then I picked up the piano first, and then things just like grew from there. Uh, so like yeah. you wrote songs without playing any instruments then. No, yeah, it was all like melodies in but, my head. Yeah, but you have melodies in your head. Yeah, that's, correct. That's so cool. Um, I think it's because I've been growing up with music my whole life. My ah. dad really loves singing. Yeah. Like, yeah, one of my fondest memories of him was like actually singing in the karaoke bar. Oh. Yeah, singing Richard Marx. Oh my right god. Waiting. Of course. <laughs> all the uncle, uncle songs, right? And I think music has always been like sort of embedded in my soul lah. Mm. <laughs> so, so you started officially three years ago? Yeah, as in like, as music as career lah. And before that? Before that, I took... Okay, so I studied mass comm in Taylor's University. Oh, okay. So, okay. and then I really wanted to be a wedding singer. Eh, no, a wedding planner. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally, I wanted to be a wedding planner. Okay. Because I'm like, I'm a hopeless romantic. Hey, you also. Yeah. <laughs> what's your what's your okay? Cannot lah. What's your favorite rom com? Oh, so many. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have one for every season. No. <laughs> but uh, Christmas time is love. Love actually. actually. Yes. 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 Oh my god. So I guess your your song inspirations are usually about love. About yeah. love. Back then lah, when I was starting out actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but nowadays. Uh, it's grown into more like liberal kind of topics. Wow! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sometimes about mental health, okay. about um, you know, self confidence. So what's your what's your genre of music? My genre is more on the folk side, and recently all my songs are more country. Country, yeah. yeah. Country folk, yeah. yeah. I think I've always liked country music, like. I grew up listening to Shania Twain, mm. yeah, Donna Patton. So Ooh. yeah, because country music, right? Songwriting is a huge thing. Yeah, like you can, you can rarely find a good country song without like meaningful lyrics. Uh. Yeah, how is a normal day in your life as a singer now? Um, because I'm a full time singer, mm-hmm. so sometimes I have like uh slow days, and sometimes I have like super busy days. But the thing is. <laughs> When you're like a full-time uh, singer and you're working from home, right? Yeah. Sometimes you have to fight yourself to be productive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you so? yeah, I even... mean, you work from home, right? Yes, yeah. I understand that. And I've been struggling a lot. Right? Recently. So recently, I've been like, unfortunately, I've been like lying on the bed more often. More often. <laughs> more oh. often than I'd like. What about like on a creative day? On a creative day? How would it be? Um, I wouldn't even leave my laptop. I would like, just from the morning till night, yeah. Just emailing people, doing this, doing videos, doing songs. Ah, and what about the writing song part, leh? Writing song is something that I try not to force. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. But some people tell me, right? You should actually actually Keep forcing practice. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Practice writing every day. Yeah. But the way that I am, I am now. Maybe eventually I will lah. Mm. But like the way that I am now, I try not to force things because mm-hmm. I don't just like come up with 
disingenuine ideas, more such big word. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because um, when I write my songs, it has to mean something to me. Then normally when I start writing a song, I won't even like uh, stop somewhere. I would actually finish the whole song in one day. Normally, like, yeah, when normally. you start, you you never stop. Rarely ever mid-way, stop mid-way. midway. Yeah. Oh, because it starts with a meaning already. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Because like, I know in the writing creative process, like for me on my YouTube videos, there are days that I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it. But I force myself to do it. I'm the kind yeah, that correct. I try to divorce myself. Mm. I'm thinking like, a bad content can slowly take me to the good content. Like yeah, it may be a bad really content, but I might, I might cut it off. Mm. But then at least I start somewhere, I, I realise that okay, this is not what I want, but it might help me get to where I want to. Mm. Yeah, That's my creative process. True. Like. How, uh, what is the space that you would create yourself to write? Like, do you write oh, in you your mean? bedroom? Oh, it has to be in my bedroom. Ah, <laughs> it your bed- has to be on my bed. Oh. <laughs> Most of the time, yeah. Mm. And as I'm very because I have my boyfriend. Uh. <laughs> it's like, sometimes it comes like 3 a.m. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm so sorry, Darren. But sometimes I'm so sorry <laughs> that I have to like stop you from sleeping mm. soundly. Oh, so yeah. like you would wake up, turn on the light, and then like just keep... No, not turn on the light, just like in the dark. Oh. <laughs> That's the worst right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's such a creative people thing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Um, what are your sources of income right now? Um, I make most of my income through weddings. Uh, so I'm a wedding singer. She is so a wedding singer. If you're getting married, hit me up. <laughs> uh, the last time we met her, I'm just like, I hope by the time I, I'm getting married, I can afford you. Yes, please. <laughs> of course you can. La. <laughs> but then you're going to be so huge already. You're also going to be very huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. La. true, true. Okay, okay, think of a, it in that context. I'll be a great girl boss. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So besides wedding, so weddings, uh, normal events, like smaller gigs, like that I headline sometimes can be like slightly lesser, mm. but it's very worth it to me lah, cause I get to like meet more people also mm. and share my original music. Because mm. when I'm doing weddings and stuff, then normally people don't pay me to yeah. sing my own songs, so I have to sing all the Elvis. All the insurance. Yeah, insurance. <laughs> that's what I thought. Ooh, to the Swifts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, which is which I also enjoy yeah. because I am a hopeless romantic. So yeah, I love singing that's at true, weddings. That's true. That's true. And corporate dinners and all. Uh, yeah. Mostly events, nah. Mostly events, ah. That's my. Uh, yeah, and busking, oh. You do busking as well. Oh yeah. Where? Publica, like, but it's not fixed. Like some months I will be busking there. Some months I won't. Do you need permit? Like, do they? find you or how does it work actually? Oh, because I go through a friend that organizes mm-hmm. all these things mm-hmm. lah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's like quite casual I think. Yeah, very casual things. Mm. But that's why like recently I've been thinking of getting like a part-time job. Mm. Just to have that stable income lah. Mm. I mean, financially it's okay, it's just that... Yeah, it's just, it would be great to have like a... few more stable yeah, la. Stability. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I know. When you're thing chasing is, your dream. Yeah, and adulting is so hard. Yeah. But anyway, so like, um, I'm always like quite amazed that oh, you have your album. Oh, <laughs> like, how does how does that work? You have I know you have your original, mm-hmm. you have your original songs, and then like you have an idea to start an album. Like, how would the process be like? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I think it would be the same, like with almost every other singer songwriter out there. Mm-hmm. But I just have like a concept in mind, lah, like, because mm-hmm. um, I am naturally a very like creative mm. person right so whenever I'm doing stuff even back in uni right mm. I always have like a purpose or a goal or a certain theme that revolves something mm. for any project that I start lah. Mm. so uh, having an album was always something I wanted to do yeah. like naturally it was going to be in the cards lah. Yeah. so when I finished my uh, university mm. I wanted to do an album and then I built this idea around like sadness yeah. or something that okay. is why my okay. my first EP called Echoes it's like it's all in it's blue very sad. It's, it's very sad it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all the theme was actually unrequited love la. Mm. so all of the songs is about like unrequited love mm. yeah it's written like across the years of my like songwriting career mm. but your is, is Goldmine an album yet? 
No, go mine is just a single. Just a single, single right? that I decided to yeah do something more upbeat and recently. fun. Recently, yeah, it's it's really fun. everyone has been asking me yeah. to like put out a upbeat record and sada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So fun fact, right? How I connected with Beverly is that mm. like maybe two, three months, no, four, set March. March on Women's Day special, correct, correct. right? Yeah. Um, I was I was helping out a friend and hosting an event that he organized, and she was one of the special guests. Mm-hmm. And when I went through the list, right, I was like, "Ooh, this name sounds very familiar." <laughs> and then I went on to YouTube and searched her, and I realized that like back in college, I've already found her on YouTube. And oh. I I was like, "Ooh, this girl is so talented from Sabah, mm-hmm. like wow, so nice." I really like one of the songs. It's called Mike, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Mike. It's I really, also in the EP. <laughs> oh, it's still in the EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I really like this song, Mike. And I, I think at that time, like. You know la college kids stuff like I just like uh-huh. download it <laughs> on YouTube <laughs> convert to like illegally don't illegally download people's work <laughs> I know <laughs> but because it's a good book and I didn't know where to yeah, find yeah, correct, correct. a legit source yeah. then la yeah. right yeah, yeah but like yeah so like you <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I've illegally downloaded this girl's song la basically <laughs> and when I saw her like the other day I was just like ooh so like did 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 I I fan girl when I saw her we connected yeah and I'm so glad. Like she said yes to me interviewing her today. Oh, That's like it. To things comes in a full cycle. Correct. Oh my god. Yeah. That's years in making. <laughs> yeah. And on that day, I remember I went back. I was so happy. I told my boyfriend, said, "Oh my god, I met this girl." Na, 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 na. And then I went on to Spotify and turned okay. on your songs. But thank then, you so much. <laughs> but then the album was so emo. That yeah. All of us are like, cannot, I cannot. Yeah. Very sad. It's super emo. Yeah. We're saying like, oh, vocals very nice, everything. But yeah, okay, too it's sad lah. We need to change. It's super sad. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be honest, it's super sad. But that was my idea lah behind mm. my first album. Yeah. And like, mine was written when you're in college. Yeah. That right. was my. Uh, Escalate and Mike, those two songs are the recent ones that I wrote in college, lah. Mm. That at that time. At that time, Just la. Years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> it, it's very fast. Time flies. Yeah. Yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. So. But I'm sure, like the college, you will be so proud that you're actually doing music full time now. Yeah. Actually. Right. Yeah. Did you only think that you should do mass com and wedding planner because you didn't think that music can be a full time thing? Yeah, correct. Right? Yeah, there was there was always a like a sliver of doubt there. Mm. Because of course, everyone's gonna everyone around you is gonna tell you that oh, you need like a stable job. Yeah. Like nine to five. Yeah. And all right, but when I re- when I entered at like a wedding planning department mm. in a resort actually. Okay. And then I found out that I couldn't do it lah. Mm. I couldn't really do it like my whole life. Yeah, I really wanted to follow my dreams lah and just see where I end up. Yeah, and, and your, I'm here you in yeah. your bedroom. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, that sounds very wrong, but okay. But in in all the <laughs> in all honesty, it's a good thing. <laughs> it, is, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like especially when you want to pursue art, and I know a lot of you out there watching this might be going through similar things. Okay. It's like having no confidence in your art that mm. you feel like you cannot make money from it. Yeah, yeah, so, but you can. <laughs> yeah, how? Yeah, you just have to find ways. Then how did you take the leap? Like, was there a story or something? Actually, there wasn't much yeah. of a story. I just like booked the ticket to KL with like no return flight. Like just made it work lah. Oh, yeah. was this right after college or did you work from time mm, first? No, no, I went back to intern. I told you right. Ooh. Then I came back for graduation. Uh. I went back again. Then bought a like one way ticket. Mm. Just like yeah, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Oh my god, my resume is really bad. <laughs> it, but you have a singer. It's a it's it's a different lah. Yeah, just a different yeah, path. Just a different kind of path. Yeah. Yeah. And your parents' reaction? Well, my they're happy now. Uh, they're happy now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I mean, at first, of course, like they, they were quite worried. worried so uh. because like, how how right? It's a parent's yeah. nature to want to protect you, mm. And I'm actually the first in my family to move out of Sabah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we don't know anyone here. Oh. Like we don't have family and yeah. all stuff. Yeah. And how long have you been staying here now? Uh, close to three years plus. Yeah, same about that lah. It's very hard when you first move here, right? Yeah, cause you don't know anyone, right? Yeah. Then you're alone. Mm. Then you make your boyfriend nice, eh? Yeah, I make my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least like I have someone to count on. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first got here, so I think it took me 
I don't think I told you this story, um, but like when I first moved back to Malaysia, like after half year like that, I fell into depression. Mm-hmm. Like that's how bad it is. Like it gets yeah. very lonely not seeing the family mm-hmm. and like not having close friends here that you can lean on mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I had to like take a mental health break after that. I moved back home. Uh, yeah. And then I started fresh again last year. Mm-hmm. But then like only after one year of staying here again, I started finding my real friends here. Uh, my new circle of people, the lifestyle that I want and all mm-hmm. that. It takes time like, it to takes move time to a also. new city. Like. Yeah, I think growing up also. Like. Yeah, yeah, growing yeah. up plays a really big part into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. more you mature, then you realise you can do it. Like, yeah. yeah. When you're young, right, you always yeah. think like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, correct. And I guess like that growing up also helped you in your songwriting process. Yeah, correct. Like, right? yeah. That's why now, now my... Scope is like super wide when it comes to songwriting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, like some artists, they even purposely go through torture or heartbreak and all that oh, to really? get that experience so that they can create better. Oh yeah, actually, I've heard that some people cannot write because they're not sad anymore. Yeah, like, like some there are some things like that because they're so happy, they have nothing to write about. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very sad to hear that. Yeah, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that your creative process has to be like Dep- depends on your mental health. <laughs> on your mental health. <laughs> oh, it's very dangerous. Very That's actually. very That's dangerous. That's why you see, right? A mm. lot of musicians like struggle with mental health. Like mm. in that time, Amy Winehouse, mm. like Chester from Linkin Park. Oh, yes. so sad. Yeah, super sad. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So also, like. even Selena Gomez. Or, yeah. yeah. That's very true. And like, there's the pressure from the public uh, that mm. there's certain sort of expectations that you right. want. And do you, do you like go through struggles oh, with that and all that? Oh, of course. So yeah. my god. Yeah. Uh, when you're a singer songwriter, a young singer songwriter, especially female in the mm. industry, right? You get a lot of people who tell you what you need to do. Mm. Like how to live your life, how to dress, how to look. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I've had a couple of those like moments that I wish like if I knew now what I knew then, right? I should have just like stood up for myself. Uh. Yeah. Do you want to go in? Did I was curious. Like, <laughs> no. Yes. No. Uh, I won. But okay. Uh, okay. Is it too much? Wait. Okay. Maybe I should just say like a snippet of like uh, yeah. what happened, lah. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Um, I was backstage for a show one day, and then I I met this guy that this other musician that I look up to. So okay. he's like okay. quite quite there in the industry okay. and um, he just simply told me because I think because he was like sort of intoxicated or so oh. then he asked me like what <laughs> what oh, my age okay. was okay. and then I told him like that time I was like 20 something mm-hmm. so I forgot mm-hmm. but like um, after that he was like oh okay you're not that young anymore so you're not that young so you have to know how to sell your face ah Really? So, yeah. Is he, is he good looking to someone at least? <laughs> I don't want to say anything. He might be good looking to someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But like, it, um, it was just not cool. Yeah. Like what he said, right? Mm. But back then, because I think I was too young. But I'm still young now. But yeah, yeah. at that time, I was like very, like, yeah, just starting. So, I didn't know how to defend myself. And mm. Yeah, I should have just said, hey, that's not cool. Like, yeah. And you have you a pretty face, I don't know. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you wouldn't say that to another guy, right? Yeah, that's You would true. say that to a girl. Mm, that is very yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, which I see, I see the way that society and the industry is. But like, you as someone who is older mm. and like long, who has been longer in the industry, mm. you could have said something more encouraging mm. than that, you know? Mm. And that's the tea! <laughs> <laughs> Now that you are more experienced in this mm-hmm. industry, la, slightly more, la, mm-hmm. okay? But let's just say you're still young, you still have a long way to go. Yeah, correct. But like, what I tips agree. would you have for someone who is thinking of getting into singing songwriting? Oh. In Malaysia or in Asia? In maybe? Malaysia, especially, just like stay true to your art. Don't uh, follow trends, mm. I would say. Like, stay true to what uh, narrative you have in your, in your life. You know, mm. I believe that people. In music, people connect to authentic mm. people normally, mm. like for longer, right? Like, yeah, some people would like follow trends. Oh my god, this this artist so what because she's so pretty, you know? Mm. Yeah, but like in the long run, 
you will remember music from people who are authentic. Yeah. So just be yourself. Be hardworking. Don't be like me, lying around on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you started, you must be very hardworking. Yeah, yeah. To get, to get to this one, you, you want to be lazy, you work hard first. Yeah, okay? correct. After that, when you're doing okay, then you can like lie around. La. Actually, cannot also. You have to work hard every day. <laughs> okay. And that's what I've been working hard on now. Okay. okay. I said work hard so many times. <laughs> but yeah, keep working hard. Keep your head down. Be humble. And mm. I think that's it. Do you think like the people that you meet, like your network, Oh, yeah, surround like yourself is. with like positive people. Mm. There are a lot of negative people out there, especially in this industry. I've met some people who are like, ooh! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would expect the industry to be very supportive because it's, it's, it's mostly a tough supportive. industry. It's mostly, mostly yeah. supportive. But like, there are some people that you know like, that it's not right for you, you know? Mm. And, yeah. So you just have to pick and choose. Mm. Guard there, your heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are there like certain platforms that you can go to to connect with other local musicians? Like, um, I'm just thinking, uh, like, how do you go and meet other singers? Like, oh, I well, uh, I guess open mics. Open mics, yeah. right? That's what I was going to say. Like, I have a friend, Chanel Devaza, who does this thing called Open Mic Malaysia. You can find them on Instagram. So they run open mics like almost every week. Oh, yeah. where is it? Here and there. Oh, he, oh uh, there, it's there not a fixed few, place. It's not that? a fixed place. Ooh. So even in Sabah, oh. I think. Yeah. So he he controls all this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if you are a musician and you want your music to be heard, you want to share your songs, mm. just check out like any open mics near you and just go there and sing originals. Oh, uh, does does it have to be originals or? No, you can sing covers also, but can originals can... are. The best. I mean, if it you is. if you have an original, then like might as well share it. Right? Yeah, correct. don't be afraid to. Don't share be shy. That. Yeah, like I feel like a song that might sound not so good to someone, or you feel like it's your man work, might really speak to someone else. Right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, you never know what's. You right never thing. know. Yeah. So the my my first song that I've ever released in my entire life, I think I was still in A levels or something. Ooh, okay. It's okay. a song called I Need You. <laughs> Honey do? Like, it's a song that I'm really, really ashamed of. <laughs> really? <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I'm, it's super cringy la, it's because cringy. I wrote it for my first boyfriend. So recently I had a fan who sent me this fan mail. Uh-huh. Uh, it's like a... Is it fan mail? So cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, true Instagram. Okay. So fan uh, DM. <laughs> okay, okay. So it was a picture uh, that he wrote. He wrote down my lyrics for mm. my song Honey Do, right? It was dated... Four six years ago, and then he sent it to his girlfriend that time. Now they are, they are, they are married and they have like children. Oh my god! Yeah. So a song that you think might, might be, be super cringe and like not worth sharing could mean something very important. To that is so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, and like I think I mean it comes back to like you know how I found her after so many years too. Oh. And I think at that point when she was doing those songs like she's in college. And she would feel like, oh, not so ever know me lah, but I just put it out there lor. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, the story, the impact comes back way later. You never yeah. know when. And that th- I think at that time, you were just putting it out there because like, it's the artwork that speaks to your heart lah. Yeah, correct. Right? I just needed a release. Yeah, like, and I you weren't to trying to be no. like famous or anything. No, actually, when I, when I release work, it's just because it's like a release to me. Mm. It's like sort of therapy. Because mm. I just want to reach out to someone out there lah. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. So how how has like social media I guess like play a part in your <laughs> like how you're oh, stroking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is this so like avocado. very comfortable? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how has social, social media, media played a part? Uh, played a part. Yeah. Um it's played a part tremendously I would say. Mm-hmm. Because uh, that's how I connect to my fans of Mm. On a like very personal level, without you like going to their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, when I whenever I have something to share, like always, yeah. Social media is the way to go, lah. Because mm-hmm. you reach more people that way, mm. and it's free. And it's free, and like I mean, I've talked to a lot of artists lately in my previous episodes as an artist, as a DJ, and like I'm sure it serves as your portfolio also, lah. Oh yeah, people right? can like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also yeah. clients find me through like social media as well. Yeah. Like they check out my Instagram, YouTube and all. Mm. That's good, that's awesome. Yeah. And like recently I know you've been into workout a lot. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh I see on the story 
was like, eh, she's singer songwriter. Sorry. Or is she like a gym. Uh, yeah, I need to think I about know. like uh, my personal branding. <laughs> it's like I've been really into fitness recently, guys. Mm. It's like, um, yeah, I've noticed because like, kind of like I said I was like very lazy mm. like back then, like mm. a few months ago. Mm. So I started thinking, okay, I should just go and like find something to do which is like work out right mm. and maybe like it'll get me out of that funk you know mm, mm, then yeah. it really oh, it does boost the energy la. super yeah and it makes me feel stronger because I've been doing weightlifting that's so oh, cool I can never do that wow well, I love weightlifting I'm too skinny I'm too big I'm like I don't want <laughs> go to the gym with me it's like it's really fun mm. yeah it's a super confidence booster and now it feels like I want to be a fitness influence <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how that go. Personal we'll branding see. it's tough but you can always evolve it or like try to make both work. Sort of work. Yeah. But I think in the essence of it you are still a musician. Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true, true, true musician in your heart. Yeah. In your blood. Okay, I'll change. <sighs> she bleeds music. <laughs> expect a lot of things with me. <laughs> oh, okay, who yeah. do I want to collaborate with? Yeah, who is like your big dream singer that you'd be like, Ooh. Okay, Malaysia or the whole world? Anything. Oh, okay, or well, both. it's the whole world. I think George Ezra. Ooh. Pop his face here. I can totally see you both, your stuff. I love yes. George Ezra. Like, he's so awesome. Yeah. But I wish he came to Malaysia. He's, he hasn't, yeah. right? He hasn't. Mm, surprisingly not yet. He has a lot of fans here, though. Mm, he has. Like, quite, I, I have a lot of his songs on my Spotify. Because he's like a super, a super happy person. I like to believe I'm a happy person. Although yeah. your songs for now, yeah. funny, I was like, mostly my songs are, sad, are like super sad. You need to pick the ukulele. La. You need to start playing so ukulele. Bad with ukulele. You can play the it's guitar. Not, it's the same. It's so small compared to my body. It, it's like, it is very small. You can play <laughs> like, mine later. Click, click, click. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Josh Ezra, anybody else? Um, what if locally? Locally, I, I love... I would just tell you like the the artists that I really love right now. I would say Impatient Sisters. Oh, oh yes! I love them. So I'm friends with <laughs> I'm friends with Irina who's in the Ambition Sisters. She's actually my producer. Ooh. Yeah. So I love them. I like haven't them. collaborated with them now. I like hey, are you are you collaborating with them? No. Not yet. Ah. Not yet. You There's no plans lah. I love I love Hey There Young Sisters. Uh, young Sailors. Hey there young sailors. Na, 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 na. <laughs> They just played good vibes, guys. Oh, they were there. Yeah, yeah. they played. Were you there? No, I wasn't. I was in Georgetown Festival. Ooh. Oh, I should say that I'm also a front man, a uh, front woman for a band, right? Oh, you are? Uh, yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm front woman for for an ethno fusion band called Nadir. I'm not sure if you heard of them. It's like an eight eight member band. <laughs> eight member band. Yeah. So yeah. I feel I'm like you're so damn bad lah. You're from woman but you forgot about your band. I forgot leh! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Harry Potter! We're coming out with a single, a Malay single called Nafa soon. So stay Ooh, tuned. That's cool. Yeah. Ah, Thank so you. I guess what are your upcoming projects? Oh, okay. So with Nadir, we have a single called Nafa that's coming soon. So stay tuned. Check us out on Nadir Music Official. Mm. And uh, for myself, uh, my country pop thing. Yeah. <laughs> I have an album that's coming out next year in July. Ooh. So, so it's like, I think it's like the gold mine style? Uh, it's it, sort of, sort it's, of. It's, it's something it's, very different actually. I'm trying to... Yeah, it's gonna be a secret. Oh! But it's, it's gonna be a very different sound yeah. than what you've been hearing. Okay. Not sad. <laughs> okay. So you guys can stay tuned to that or like, yeah. you know, stay updated to that on two ways. On her Instagram. Yes, and Beverly also, Matujal. Uh, Beverly Matujal. Bling! And also her Spotify. You can definitely right. search her up there. So on Beverly Matujal. Yes. Go follow her. You know, Please, all these small you. singers on right there. She's, not, she's like mid la. Middle to small. Small to middle. Small. Bigger la. Right? Small. They need a lot of followers and subscribers to like, you know, get big. Yes, there. so to stream. Yeah. Go subscribe to her. Stream. She's an amazing singer. <laughs> and in fact, to close up this video, we are actually going to get her to sing. Oh. And I'm gonna sing too. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't ruin the song. No, you won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get the guitar okay. and like, try to set this up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you.
this video yes our chat and our singing comment below if you know you like her voice more or mine oh, <laughs> it's very wow, obvious wow, it's a wow. obviously it's it was my right there. <laughs> but yeah like definitely check her out on instagram on spotify yes. thank you. she has amazing voice amazing songs out there and like cute new projects coming up so yes yes be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and yes. definitely check these two videos out for more fun stuff going on okay Bye!